In 2014, the best in show rings up and down the country have been dominated by one dog. But over the past couple of years, this show has seen the top dogs lose their grip at the head of their groups. Will City of Birmingham be a bogey show once again, or will this year's established winners reign supreme? Welcome to Around the Dog World. This is City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show. In Stoneleigh Park this weekend, the honour of judging Best in Show falls to Derek Smith. But before that, the thousands entered have to win through their breed before they can step inside the main ring to represent their breed in the group. Now, we welcome back Andrew Brace for the first time in a very long time. Does the setting feel familiar, Andrew? Yes, yes, it feels like I've <laughs> never been away, Simon. <laughs> Um, there have been several shows since our last outing at National Working and Pastoral Breeds. There have so been. So we'll scan through them pretty quickly. We'll stop for the ones that you were there to attend. Um, starting off a couple of weeks after National Working and Pastoral Breeds, we went to Leeds, where for a second time ever, and in as many months, champion Edgelonian Singing the Blues, the popular Shetland Sheepdog, finished a championship show as Best in Show winner. A weekend with three Best in Shows saw a 15th all-breed Best in Show for a Wire Fox Terrier champion Travella Striking Steel at Paynton. A German shorthair pointer, Alaglo Um Um Reicher, finished top at Gundog Breeds of Scotland, and a Whippet Cross Cup Count On Me was best in show at the Hound Show. Now this one we have to slow down for, Andrew. This was Bournemouth. Lassa Apso best of breed winner. Delane Mr. Magnum at Remra won his and his owner's first ever CC, went on to win the utility group, and by the end of the day was a best in show winner. Something of a fairy story, and it proves that you know when the dog is good enough, then they can actually get to the top spot regardless. That takes us to Welsh Kennel Club. We saw a dog that did an awful lot of winning a couple of years ago, uh, Merlin the Irish Water Spaniel, and wins his fifth all breed best in show two years after winning his last. No, I mean, Merlin is um, he's, he's a very popular dog um, because he's, he's got that wonderful Irish Water Spaniel personality. Yes. But Judith set out to, to prove something, and that was that he wasn't just a pretty face um, and that he has working ability too and she's qualified the dog in the field, so Merlin now can, can take his full championship title. Wow. And finally, last week was SKC, uh, and mm -hmm. Andrew, I think you, you know quite a lot about what went on up there. Yeah, I, I was up there at Ingleston, had a great weekend. Um, I judged five of the groups and best in show. And for me, the best in show winner was a, just a no-brainer. That little cavalier, Miletree Montezuma at, of London Corps, um, I should know his name off by heart because he won his second CC under me at Southern Counties. Then he turned up, much to my surprise, in Helsinki at the World Show. Yeah. I mean, this dog is a great little cavalier with the most wonderful personality and, and character. I think he's a great cavalier. I think he's one of the greatest cavaliers I've judged in a long time. And I've been judging them now for 30 years. That, of course, then brings us here to City of Birmingham. Mm -hmm. So we need to take a look at the top dog table. Still leading the way at the head of the table is Oliver Champion Travella striking steel the Wire Fox Terrier after another best in show win at Paynton. With two working dogs in the shape of Bull Mastiff Mac and Alaskan Malamute Bart battling at the top of their group and now leading the chasers. Smooth Coat Chihuahua Misty is fourth and German Spitz Gen fifth, followed by Saluki Classicus Cassander surging up the top ten into sixth. Eric the ever present peak is seventh, followed by Elk Hound Pearl and double best in show winner, Sid the Sheltie. And currently sitting 10th top dog all breeds is Hollyhill Topaz Chancer, the long coat Chihuahua. On the first day here in Stoneleigh Park, we have two groups on show, the Hounds and Toys, both judged by Jean Lanning. The first of Jean's group is the Hounds. Well, this is the first trip by Miss Lanning at 12. This is the final call for the best of breeds in the toy group. Please make your way to the collecting ring. The final call for the best of breeds in the toy group. That's the Royal Britannia. That's a Griffin Bending Ground. And the Petite. Smooth 
hand action. And it shows. Now the smooth hand standing. Would Mrs. Langston Smith, the judge of the Polks, please go to the secretary's office? That's Mrs. Langston Smith, the judge of Polks, please go to the secretary's office. The Irish Wolfman. The Elkhorn. Finally, the Rhodesian Ridgeback. The decision has been made. And the winner of the Hound Group is the standard Smooth Head Daxon. Group two, we have the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Group three, the Greyhound. And the group four, the Basset Suave de Matan. The first group of the weekend was the Hound Group, won by the smooth haired Datsun Cedric. Congratulations, Peter. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about Cedric. Well, he won't be two till he till December. Wow. And he's uh, he's won several uh, best puppies in nice. uh, open shows and in championship shows. Fantastic. And he got best of breed week before last at the uh, Welsh Kennel Club, and he had his first ticket at the Hound Club two weeks before. Fantastic, so is that, uh, uh, his success is coming swiftly? Yeah, it's coming very swiftly. It's all, <laughs> it's all happening at once. So we're a bit overwhelmed by today, I have to say. All the Dachshunds, you know, there's six varieties, three coats, two sizes. And the standard smooth Dachshund is, is regarded as the blueprint. Right. So, you know, the good thing about a, a standard smooth Dachshund, what you see is what you get. Right. Had you got anything planned for Sunday? Yes, I had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loads of things, but I'm looking forward to coming up on Sunday. It's not too far, and I only live in Swindon anyway, so it's not and, too far. And he's such a young dog, you've got to be pretty excited about his future. I am very much so, yeah. I mean, it uh, you know, started off quite slowly, but everybody around me said, you know, give him time, and he'll mature into himself. And over the last kind of couple of months, he has. Stangers picked out eight dogs, and the first moving is the smooth goat Chihuahua. I have an ease. King Charles Spaniel. The Lauchin. The Pekingese. And finally, the Yorkshire Terrier. And today's total number of dogs entered with 2,395.
Good morning, everybody. This is the third edition of A Stockman's Eye. Um, this time we're being filmed, so possibly it might be my last. <laughs> now, when they're made reasonably well and trained physically, like you would a gymnast, which is really all that dressage is, you end up with something that stays sound for a very great deal longer. And I also said she would catch some people out too, didn't I? She's <laughs> <laughs> a good girl, are you are. She says, I know you love me, Auntie Patricia. Good old buzz. Trick trot, trick trot. You can see that with the butcher's cart on the back, can't you? You know, what a fabulous walk. Decisions are made, the boards are out, and the winner of the third group is the Maltese. East Smooth Coach Chihuahua. The Pekingese. And the Capillon. A big thank you to the remaining four who are about to leave the ring now, please. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much to our judge, Ms. Jean Lanning. Appreciation, please. And also the society would like to thank the exhibitors. The second group of the weekend goes to the Maltese boss. Sarah, congratulations. Thank you. It's a real shock because Jean Lanning gave him a group last year. Wow. So I knew she liked him and I was just hoping she would still like him. And you've, you've always got a Maltese out that's, that's competing in the placings. Have you had more than boss out this year? I'm showing a young dog who's, got, who's had group placements and has got his champion title. Fantastic. Um, and his father and his grandfather and his great-grandfather generations have all had groups and best in shows. Yeah. So. It, it's a successful line. <laughs> um, uh, tell us a bit about him. You can you could see in the ring that there's there's some personality there. Yeah, he's, he's a really happy dog. I mean, he loves playing with toys and he loves life and wants to be fun and they should be fun. And today was a, a relatively good day for toys, but what's it like trying to keep that coat in condition when, when you've got rain and, and wet it's and mud? It's easy because you do have to keep them in a little bit more because of the weather, but while they show dogs they're okay with it and then as soon as they're retired they get cut off and then they can go out in the rain, mud, <laughs> fields, whatever they want and enjoy life and be a dog. So at the end of the day when you show a breed like this if you don't put the work in you're never going to win with them. Well Gina it looked like you rather enjoyed your hound group to start with you had a, a huge shortlist in there. Yes and I don't call it shortlist any longer because you don't know until you get in there the quality of a particular group so I like to call it my first selection. Yeah rather than sort of first choice. There were some in there that um, were a little bit, say, ordinary, but overall I thought I had some very good dogs there. Your winner, the smooth-haired Datsun, what did you think of him? Well, I thought he filled the bill, as they say. He's, I hate to use the word honest, but he's a lovely honest dog. He's got enough daylight under him, super front and feet and level top line and moving soundly. Um, and moving on to the toy group, a slightly smaller first selection. Yeah. Um, how did the quality compare? I thought the toy group had superb quality there, but it was not in quite the same number. Right. And, and your, your winner, the Maltese, apparently had a good day under you before. Yeah, I judged it last year at the Welsh Kennel Club. I then thought it was out of this <laughs> world, this dog. Not only is a good specimen, but it pulls itself together and it's got this it's spectacular. And, it, and after all, it is a dog show. It's got a bit of sparkle. Yeah, I like the Chihuahua that was second, but that's very young, I understand. And it, this is its first show today, so that was good.
Welcome back to Around the Dog World at City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show 2014. It's day two and working pastoral and terrier groups are on. But before we watch any of the judging, I'm joined in judges reception by Andrew Brace. Nice to see you again, Andrew. Thank you. Uh, we are, of course, in judges reception because you were judging yesterday and, and from the sounds of it, you rather enjoyed it. Yeah, I did the veteran stakes and the champion stakes. And, and to be perfectly frank, as I told the exhibitors as some of them were leaving the ring, this was probably one of the strongest classes I've ever judged anywhere. I mean, I was, I was unplacing dogs that had previously won challenge certificates under me. So it was a joy to judge, but it was also a headache. And hopefully two more days of the same quality. Let's hope so, but it'll be a really tough act to follow because that class yesterday with the homes and toys was just amazing. Well, following your class of the champ stakes, we went into the hound group. Uh, the smooth-haired Datsun was the winner, only two CCs. Well, you know, they don't win groups based on the number of CCs they've yeah. won. They win groups on the opinion of the judge on the day. Um, in this instance, Gene Lanning, who has been judging and awarding CCs longer than anyone alive in this country. Gene actually started judging in 1951, the year, wow. the year before I was born. So uh, that's, a, that's a career. She's, she's a vastly experienced yeah. judge. And then, of course, we go into the toy group. And Jean Lanning has already awarded this Maltese a group before, and, and she clearly liked it yet again. Yeah, well, you know, judging is all about on the day. Some judges seem to have this warped idea that, you know, if a dog has won a group under them previously, they, they can't possibly give it another group. You know, it's a fresh competition, and everything depends on the merit of the dog against its breed standard and the level of competition. She obviously didn't see anything that she preferred on the day, so logically, she should give it the group again. Well, thank you very much, Andrew. We'll speak to you again tomorrow morning after tonight's three groups. The first group today is the pastoral group, judged by Jean Lanning. Dog individually again. Australian Shepherd. The Bearded Collie. The Grand Old. The German Shepherd Dog. The Hungarian Poolie. The Pernian Melty Dog. Somewhere. <laughs> and finally, the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Signal for the board's replaced as the decision has been made. And the winner of the partial group, the Bearded Collie. The Samoyed and Runner Up, the Briard in Group 3, and the Inferno Mountain Dog in Group 4. Glenda, congratulations. Flo looked fantastic in there. Thank you. I thought she just showed her socks off. And I understand she, she was made up yesterday yes, as well. Her third CC. Fantastic. First best of breed. She's had lots of best puppy in show and best in show at open shows yeah. before we progressed to championship shows. Because she was a very naughty girl as a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> so she's maturing now and she's mellowed a little bit? Yeah, she started off um, showing me up at all the shows, trying mm. to bite my leg as we run around the ring and yeah. trying to grab my feet till she was nearly a year old. Right. Gave everyone a good laugh and, and I never ever stopped her doing it because I thought when this little girl gets used to this she's going to be a fabulous show dog yeah. and she just 
grew into it. <laughs> yeah, and you, you must have been pretty excited coming out of that ring. Absolutely. I really tried to get a breeder to take her in the group because I was right. a bit nervous <laughs> about it, and she's got a lot more experience than me. And um, but she said, no, you know, you're, you're going to do it yourself because you've got a real rapport with the dog, yeah. and and um, so I'm glad I did now. The Australian Terrier. The Dandy Dumont. Lee Carey, Carey Blue. Blue. decision is made and the winner the wire fox terrier the norwich terrier group two the west island white in group three and the dandy Limon in group four right leading the way around please the wire fox terrier the Norwich Terrier, the West Highland White, and the Dandy Dinmont. Sir Richard, how many grips is that Oliver's now taken? Uh, that was his 26 today. Fantastic, and he's 26 times in the best in show ring. 15 of them he's come out with a, the top prize. You've got to be hopeful for tomorrow. Uh, well, you're always hopeful, but it's different day, different judge, different dogs. So uh, we'll do our best and uh, keep our fingers crossed. He's outstanding. There was nothing to touch him today. I've given him a group before in Belfast, right. so but there was nothing to go past him today. And he's on some superb form, and he's leading the, the top dog by quite a way. You've got to be extremely happy with him this year. I'm over the moon. Uh, I mean, I haven't really kept a tab of the points this year, but personally think he's a lot better dog this year than he was last. He's only been shown for, what is it, 18 months or yeah. not even that, so. In your critique, what what you say about him? The good shaped body, lovely neck, nice head, excellent coat, excellent movement, yeah. first class. And what about your group as a whole? How did you feel the whole thing went? Yes, I mean, I was a bit worried about some of the group because a lot of them didn't have tickets today. Right. But, I mean, I was quite pleased with my shortlist. In the final run-up, some of them didn't go as well as I expected. Yeah.
the bull monster. The dome. The giant stanza. And you found it. It's a burden. Finally, the Russian Black Terrier. Decisions have been made, the boards are out. And the winner of the working group is the Doberman. The Giant Scouts at Group 2. The Newfoundland Group 3. And the Malamute Group 4. Well done to the other two leaving the ring. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, can you lead them round, please, the Doberman? The Giant Schnauzer, the Newfoundland, and the Malibu. Well, Naomi, you looked rather surprised there. Yes, I couldn't believe it. It's the first ever group we've ever won, so it's uh, quite an emotional day. <laughs> and and this was his second, second ticket? ticket. Right? Yeah, he's had... Uh, Gene Lannan actually gave him his first ticket and best breed earlier this year at Wickenham, past all right. breeds Wales, and then Ben gave us our, our second, so we're really thankful to him. So you must have must have been rather hopeful when you knew that Gene was the group judge? You never know what type of competition you're going to come up into a group. I mean, we were always hopeful, but... We've never been this lucky. And how, how did it feel standing outside watching? Can't really describe it. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. We're just turning around in circles. Worse than him. <laughs> so. He's a bit of a fidget. <laughs> he looks rather excitable. He is. He doesn't stop. And it's uh, quite surprising he didn't end up around my neck at any point throughout the group. <laughs> and, and how old is he? He's uh, just two-year-old. He's an uh, import from Nearly Indonesia. Three. Oh, wow. Um, so at two years old, you wouldn't expect a, a dog of this size to be fully mature. When would you expect to see him at, I at peak? I think he'll probably come into his own around three or four-year-old. So right, OK. We're uh, very hopeful for the future for him. So, Jean, the second half of your groups this weekend was the pastoral and working groups. Pastoral was first today. Bearded Collie was your winner. I thought when she came in the ring, she was going to be pretty near the top. <laughs> She was quite lovely, yeah. and she has that lovely, lean look. And, of course, she's perfectly sound. She has a lovely top line. She carries her tail correctly. And then when I had her go around the second time, it was hers. <laughs> um, and you went in for your fourth group of the weekend, the working group, and it goes to an Indonesian Doberman. Um, what did you make of it? Well, I have... Slight risk in interest that I gave it his first ticket. <laughs> we heard. Yeah. And it's a wonderful dog. It's square. It fits the standard exactly. And it's so sound. Quite a lot number of those breeds don't come towards you truly. But mm. this dog is absolutely immaculate as yeah. a mover. I was delighted. They turn around and thank me, but I thank them for bringing me such lovely dogs. <laughs> Welcome back to Around the Dog World on day three of City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show. Welcome to our, our studio, Andrew. Do you like it? I love it. I love it. And it's obviously the last day. You were in a suit. You, know. oh, you should obviously. do the suit thing more often. It, it's, it's the important Mrs. day. Mrs. Johnson would approve. <laughs> it's best in show day, so we've got to make an effort, obviously. Uh, the first group yesterday was the pastoral group. Mm -hmm. uh, and a bearded collie came and surprised everyone, taking, taking the top spot under Gene Lanning. Yeah, it was a, a beardy bitch winning a third ticket on the day. The, the owner was very excited. But bred by Brenda White. Many of us, us oldies, will remember Brenda winning Best in Show at Crafts with a beautiful right. beardy under Lionel Hamilton Rennick. She was as excited as the owner was, actually. Um, and following Gene into the ring after the pastoral group was Tom Johnston, judging the Terrier the group. Terriers. And there was a, a very interesting story behind the Norwich placing second. 
Yeah, um, Leslie Crawley, second generation, great dog person. Interestingly, the Norwich was bred by Beth Swigard, partner of Peter right. Green, who we've talked about many yes, times yeah. on the program before. Bred in the USA. This was actually the very first imported Norwich to win a group in this country. Won a group at Blackpool, I think. Great little dog. Um, and finally, yesterday was the working group, and another, a, a bit of a surprise, uh, to anyone that didn't know that Gene Lanning had already already awarded this dog. Yeah, its, and, its and I've done a little bit of research last yeah. night, you know, because I'm always working very hard for you late at night. And I can never actually remember an Indonesian import winning a CC, much right. less a group. But this Doberman dog was bred by a, a very young man called William Soderman. I met him in Jakarta two years ago. He's right. passionate about the breed. Um, so she had a second opportunity to see her discovery and um, she endorsed it by giving it the group. And we're looking ahead to two groups today, the utility and gun dogs. And, and then at the end of the day, Derek Smith has the honour of judging best in show. Absolutely. And let's hope he likes some of the group winners. Yeah. It's very difficult when you've not done any yourself, you know. You can be faced with seven dogs that you don't particularly care for. I'm sure that won't be the case. No, of course not. Well, thank you very much, Andrew. We'll speak to you later on tonight That's after the groups. Right. The first group today is the utility group, judged by Barry Day. First to move off the Akita. The Dalmatian. The French Bulldog. The Cajun. The Japanese Shiba Inu. The last episode. The miniature poodle. The Shih Tzu. And finally, the Tibetan Terrier. Decisions have been made at last. Did we have the boards in the ring. The Abso. And the winner is the Lhasa Abso. Runner up, the Miniature Poodle. The Akita, third group. And group four, the French Bulldog. Big hand to all the others leaving the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Well done to you all. Congratulations. Did you expect Libby to, to win the group today? No. <laughs> and she, she's already done it before, though? Yeah, she has, yeah. Tell us a little bit about her. She loves showing. She gets yeah. in that ring and she gives it her all. She just like, come on, Mum, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> she she certainly enjoyed herself. What are your preparations? You've got a couple of minutes before Best in Show. What's your, what are your thoughts? With her, not a lot, not really. A lot. No, because I know, she, like I say, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, she'll go and it's like, yeah, come on, Mum, I'll do it for you. Well, best of luck. You've only got a couple of minutes and we'll see you in there. Thank you. Water dog seven three one seven. The Welsh 
Springer Spaniel. Springer Spaniel, 7080. Cocker Spaniel. German short head pointer. On the German wire head pointer. Setter. The pointer. Decisions have been made. If uh, the new chairman was sat in the audience tonight, yes. What would you ask him? To care. I see myself as the judge that was banned. Boards of call for the decisions have been made. The Irish setter, the pointer, and the Irish water fighter. Our thanks to our judge, Zan Webster. Well, John, I haven't seen Greg in a while, but he certainly didn't look out of place in the group ring, did he? No, no, he's uh, had a long weekend because we've been down to a club show and he, <laughs> he'd already had a ticket yesterday so off, off the judge, so he's just been sitting about doing nothing. <laughs> but we've had a wonderful day and he showed right up till the end. I was and delighted. how many CCs is that now? 44. Wow. And uh, his fifth group today? Yes, yes, five um, groups. And you and Merlin, who have placed fifth, have been battling out for years now. <laughs> so it, seems, it seems that way. I thought he might have, you know, he did well today, so I thought he was competition. Yeah. So I was delighted to do the group, win and, the group. And you must be looking forward to best in show now. Yes, exactly. And, uh, you know, hopefully he'll show as well then. You've got a couple of minutes. Does he just need need to sit down and rest yeah, and drink? Probably, yes. Yeah. Just although he's never lets me down, he's a very conservative dog with his energy. <laughs> and he just you think he's never going to get up and walk, and uh, yeah. then all of a sudden he puts it all in and does what I want. Well, congratulations and best of luck. Cheers, thank you. Leading the way in, the Sanders Smooth Jackson. Thursday, the Toy Group, the Maltese. Day two from the pastoral group, the big collie. From the terrier group, the white haired fox terrier. And from the working group, the doberman. <laughs> the lasso abso. And the younger group, the Welsh Springer Spaniel. Our judge has been some of the past experience.
26 dogs, 27 entry, exhibit 1911, the dog is best to breed. In Maltese, exhibit 1911. Seven dogs entered. The Dorman to eight five nine. The Larson Abso eight one six two. The Larsa Apso. <laughs> Finally, the seventh dog from the Gunda group we've just seen. Richard, 16 best in shows. Could you have dreamt of that when you when you brought uh, Oliver out at Welks? Uh, no, in a simple word. <laughs> I, 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 I was always uh, confident in his ability, uh, <laughs> but to do as well as he's done in a short space of time, no, not for a million years. And we've, we've seen him for almost 18 months now. He looks such a mature dog. Yeah, I mean, we didn't bring him out till he was, uh, he was about 18 months old, 19 months old, so... In the last sort of six, seven months, he's, uh, he's really filled, and I think he's about, you know, almost at his peak now. You're at 16 best in shows. The all-time record is 18. John Thurwell, that was in best in show, has that record with Yogi the Hungry and Vizsla. Does that play on your mind at all? Yes. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, Does that make you nervous? It doesn't make me nervous because, uh, you know, you, you do your best and that's all you can do. But if I said I wasn't thinking about it and it's within reach now, then I'd be lying. So uh, I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed. How much more do we see of Oliver? Is, is he staying out all year? He'll be out all year. All being well, he'll be at Crofts. Fantastic. Well, congratulations again. Thanks very it's much. great to see him in such great form and we hope to see you throughout the year. OK, we'll be here. Thank you. Well, Derek, you look like you knew exactly what you wanted in there. Well, yes. When the dogs come in and you have a look at them, you see them walk in. It's a big ring and you see pretty well what you like. And then it's a matter of going over them and seeing if what you like is really the best that were there. And Oliver, the wire fox terrier, yeah. you, you must have seen him around the shows. I've seen him. I've never judged him before. I thought he was quite outstanding. I can understand why the dog has done the winning he's done, because he's so beautiful to go over and beautifully conditioned. And what did you make of your, your best in show line lineup? Was it a high quality lineup? Yes, it was a good lineup, very good lineup. All of them were sound without any exception, which is a very important aspect in a show dog. And you are, of course, from the uh, pastoral group or the, the working group. Um, and the bearded collie was bearded your reserve. The collie was lovely. It just floated round. It kept a beautiful top line. Its tail was fabulous. And it, it just really came into its own on the move. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, Derek. Very welcome. Best in show winner for a 16th time is Oliver the Wire Fox Terrier. But first, we need to take a look at the groups from earlier on this evening, Andrew. Utility was first in the ring, and a last app, so with six cc's, takes yeah, its second a, a, group. A, a champion bitch. She appealed in size and type, beautifully presented, obviously. Yeah. Second group of the evening was the Gundog group, and finishing up top for, I think, a fifth time, Greg the Welsh Springer Spaniel. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's a very, very handsome dog. He's as good a mover as we've had in Welsh, I think, for, for many years. Um, and finally, best in show, a high quality lineup for Derek Smith. And he picks, much like 15 other best in show judges, Oliver for best in show. You know, what can you say? When a dog amasses this kind of record, it's seen by some people to be a little bit boring. Mm. Judges can be accused of being predictable. Mm. You're accused yeah. of giant killing if you don't put them up. But basically, you know, the, the dog is on form. Um, and Derek was rather taken with his beardy. I loved the way that this beardy bitch carried herself. Mm. And she just sort of flowed. And, and it's no surprise whatsoever that she appealed to Derek for reserve. No pun intended, Flo flowed. Is her name Flo? Her, her name is Flo. You see, I didn't even realise that. And well, you know how much I hate ghastly puns. Do you hate them, really? Absolutely. I'm sorry about that. It's all right, Boris. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Andrew. My we'll pleasure. speak to you again very soon, hopefully. My pleasure. Thank you very much for watching. Another massive congratulations to Oliver the Wire Fox Terrier. And please remember to come back and watch Around the Dog World at its new time, Thursday at 8pm on the first weekend in November. Thanks for watching.